Oklahoma State, football coach Mike Gundy received criticism from several key players on his team after a photo showed him wearing a One American News Network t-shirt. Gundy said that after meeting with players, he realized it was a sensitive issue and vowed to make changes moving forward. Shannon, what's going on here? Only then did he realize it was a sensitive issue. So he had paid no attention to the landscape, Skip, over the last three weeks and realized, as you have said, people are losing their jobs by simply saying all lives matter, buildings matter, being racially insensitive. So in other words, he had no idea that this T-shirt might cause a problem. Now, this is what he said back in April, Skip. He had discovered the network and he had been watching it all week long. Now, like this, he said, he was just flipping around. Yeah, and he just happened to find it. Mm -hmm. just, hap just happened to. Mm -hmm. Now, it's fun. I'm flipping around. I got to go to the guy to find something to go on TV that I want to see, Skip. Yep. And you got 500 channels. But anyway, Skip, it's an extreme right-wing network that promotes a lot of conspiracy theories. Mm -hmm. And it has, two, it has the most important set of eyeballs in America that watches it constantly. And you know who that is. 1619 Black Lives Matter Avenue. Because guy, it is a supporter of that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And occasionally they will have plants, reporters from that network, and then they ask him, Mr. President, do you think uh, Congress should uh, investigate Hunter Biden and Burisma? Mm -hmm. And he's like, I, I absolutely think they could, if it was me. Thank you for that question. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, Mike Gundy, you know what's up. And then, Skip, the thing is, if you look at the current and for the offensive line, we stand with Chuba. We stand here. We with him. I think it's Chuba. Chuba. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The uh, uh, former players. Yep. Now, if you know, hey, me, hey, a lot of Dabo Sweeney's Clemson they, coach runs to his defense. They run to Dabo's side like Dabo. We're gonna take some of these blows for you. Correct. That's not correct. one. Not one. If he was, a, if he was a someone important, and they were Secret Service, oh, he getting got because they moving all out the way. They ain't taking none of them blows. <sighs> if Kevin, <laughs> hey, the thing in April 2020. This is what he said. The corona or the Chinese virus? Oh, they should come back to school in May because they're young. They can probably fight it off because we need to continue that money run. Run, run that the, money through the state of Oklahoma. But he ain't yeah. no skip. Now, who was the first person to coin the term Chinese virus? And you don't think you know. He probably going to be at that rally in Tulsa on, on Saturday night. I wouldn't be surprised. Look for a guy about six foot two, mullet. That's him. Mm. Skip, he need to stop this. The days of you, you can't plead ignorance. And then when guys want to transfer from his pro program, he uh, calls them a, a snowflake. Mm -hmm. Skip, you know what Mike Gundy was originally scheduled to go to school at? Oh, you. Change his mind. Mm -hmm. Huh. It's funny how that works. Somebody is less than, oh, you're too insensitive in your, your feelings, you're too in your feelings, when they want to have a change of heart. But you do it, no big deal. He think he, slot. he think he was slick, and they called him. That dude, knew, uh, 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 the running back, knew exactly what that network represented. And that's why, Skip, you don't wear a shirt. Nobody, is, kind of like you, you and I were talking about Anthony Davis. When he, uh, 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 that's all, folks. <laughs> there was careful consideration with, in the pick of that shirt his last game uh -huh. in New Orleans. Yep. You don't think, ain't nobody just grabbed it. Oh, let no. me just grab this and put this mm -hmm. on. Not and, then take, and then take a picture with it. Mm hmm Hey, come on, Mike Gundy. Hey, these kids smart. A lot smarter than what you give them credit for. And you got caught. <clears throat> Speaking of that rally this weekend in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Coach Gundy might have time to go to it because I'm not sure he's going to have a, a head coaching job by this weekend. I'm not sure he will survive this. Yeah. Barry Trammell, the longtime columnist at the Oklahoma and radio uh, commentator in Oklahoma City, has been saying he's not sure Gundy will survive this, and I'm really not sure. Yeah. Well, Mike, Mike Holder, the AD, ooh, he scathing. said this was disturbing. A happened. grave concern. Grave concern. There are no greater concerns than grave. Grave. So, until yesterday, I'll be the first to admit, I did not know what One America Network was. So I had to look it up last yep. night. And then as I looked for videos... I found one from a commentator by the name of Liz Wheeler, who recently said on, what's it called, OAN, yeah. that Black Lives Matter is a quote-unquote farce. It is a farce, okay? <laughs> Just, I'm going to frame this. Right. With, this. This is what we're operating right. in, in this, this circumstance, mm -hmm. okay? 
So Mike Gundy, back in April, just volunteered this in a conference call with reporters mm -hmm. that, oh, I, I stumbled across this network and I really like it because it's not right or left. It's just right down the middle. It's just the facts. <laughs> I, I, I don't know about that. That's exactly. Conspiracy theories, extreme support of President Trump. I'm not sure about that. That's what they peddle in. Okay, so he got flack for saying that and he apologized for saying that. But that didn't stop him from doubling down this over the weekend and taking this shirt out of the closet. Because I'm going to, it, I'm just going to suspect that that OAN then sent him a T-shirt because he exactly he applauded them. Right, right, right. And he liked the T-shirt enough that he wore it to go fishing. Mm -hmm. And then he was with a young reporter who works for CBS Sports covering that region and they're out fishing and they took a picture of all the haul that they caught and he knew exactly he's not yeah. he's been doing this for 15 years he's been the head coach there for 15 yes. years he's yep. been in the media spotlight mm -hmm. and you have to know this is going up on social yes kaboom well you just double down right and then again i mentioned barry trammell the columnist at the oklahoma and he pointed out in his piece that he wrote last night that back in april gundy expressed support for president trump and that flew under the radar when life was all about the pandemic. Right. So that came out of his mouth and it kind of came and went. Right. But now it's back. And now for my bottom line to this discussion, I loved what Chuba said. And for those who don't know, he was the Big 12 Offensive Player of the Year. He led the nation in rushing. I believe he would have been a second round pick, maybe a high second right. round pick. But he chose to return for his final year right. for that guy. He right. chose to go back and play mm -hmm. for dear old Oklahoma State mm -hmm. for that guy. That's why he was so stung by this, so right. hurt. And I loved his initial scathing tweets. Right. Every word that he wrote, it just dripped with outrage because he should have been outraged. Yes, absolutely. And then I fell off my chair a couple of hours later when Oklahoma State posts a video featuring that man and Chuba, right. and he didn't apologize, but Chuba's apologizing. I handled it the wrong way. I shouldn't have tweeted about it. I should have come straight and talked to this man face to face. You do realize he didn't come to you and tell you about that shirt he was uh, going to wear, did he? He did not. And that's the thing, Skip. It's always the person that calls out the person that says, well, I, sh handle it. I should have handled it differently. Well, he didn't handle it differently. He did what he did. He went about it. Chuba, you can't back off. No. You had him. You, you got to... And then he tweeted later, my foot's still on the gas. No, no, no it's not. not. You took no. the foot completely you off. You decelerated. You put it in neutral. You yep. can't back off. This nope. is the time that we've never had a time in this country like this. The, the white community's eyes, ears, minds are open to this. You are in the right. You needed to press the subject as hard as you could press it right. because he's wrong. Right. He's out of line as far as taking advantage of the, the young black men right. who have made him a pretty wealthy individual yes. for 15 years, yes. right? absolutely. And made him a reasonably successful coach, although he's 2-13 and 13 against his in-state arch rival, right. University of Oklahoma. Correct. So, again, that's why he's teetering right now. That's why he's on the but thinnest he, of he, ice. He wins just enough games just every year enough. to keep, a, keep his he, job. Yeah, and he's just sort of entertaining right. enough. But he also is grading enough yeah. because do you remember it's been all the way back to 2007? Remember when he called out the female columnist, mm -hmm. Jenny Carlson of the Oklahoman? I'm a man. man. I'm 40. Come after me. Remember that? That's the first time the world sort of recognized, oh, that's who that guy is, right. the mullet guy. Right. And Jenny Carlson had written a piece about his quarterback named Bobby Reed, and she was on the money. And he called her out wrongly. And I thought he looked terrible over yeah. that. And he's called out some critics of his in, in the fandom and said they're on welfare or whatever, you know, like, See, yeah. Trying to hit below the belt. Right, right. Just, just trying to discredit them right. completely like they, they can't have an opinion. They, they're, they're home collecting welfare checks, right? right? Mm -hmm. So that's why he's on the thinnest of ice. But in the end, so many ex-players, even Justice Hill now run, is running back for the Ravens, he suggested there have been some racist sort of undertones, some incidents have happened right. within the program that a lot of the ex-black players not comfortable with. And that's what we've been seeing. Well, I've, I've compared it almost to the Me Too movement where right. people have come forward. 
y- y- this happened to me, right. and this happened to me, and this right. happened to me. Right. And some of those players are saying, this happened to me. Yep. And to your point, not one of them has said, you know what? Coach Gundy's a good guy. He, he needs to be educated, but he's a good guy. Nobody said he's a good guy. You see what happened to our uh, strength coach? Yeah, he's gone. They got him up out of there. Mm-hmm. Man, making almost a million dollars a year. Mm-hmm. They did the back. Hey, Mike Gundy, they can start digging. Okay, but some of the Iowa players had the back of Kirk Ferentz, the yeah, head but, coach, just the way some have had Dabo's back at Clemson. But ain't none had his back. No, none have had his back. But, but see, Skip, if they were to do a thorough investigation, I believe some of these players are going to come back and say, okay, this is what he said to me. Some of these current players are going to come mm-hmm. and say, this is what he uh, said to me. Now, I didn't read the article that uh, you say, Bad Trammell? Yes, th- th- Trammell. That, that wrote, mm-hmm. but they're not playing now, Skip. They're not playing the, these players. These, uh, uh, you can't overcome it. Well, you have to that, be very mindful. Chuba, Chuba initially suggested he's not playing for Oklahoma State right. under these conditions. Right. And now, mea culpa, it was my fault. No, it wasn't it your, your fault. fault. No. You would have never tweeted that had he not did what he did. No. His actions caused your reaction. And, and so I don't apologize to, for your reaction to his action. Yeah, I tried to analyze from a distance. Remember, Chuba grew up in Canada, played high school football in Alberta. Right. So is it because he doesn't feel like he's he grew up in America, per se? You know, like he, maybe got, he doesn't understand. He or, understand. They got racism uh, in Canada. No, they do. Uh, oh, I, got I, it. I saw uh, Trudeau talking about their indigenous people yep. a couple of weeks ago. So he, he he's aware. Okay. But he's been he's been in America long enough to well, know I, I some of the things that, that he says mm-hmm. or does doesn't jive with where we are as a society. No. Stand by it, man. Stand with it. You yeah. you, you got it. Don't let him off the hook. Yeah, you already know this.